morning, Panthers. Today's Friday, March 9th, day in your schedule. I'm Desiree. And I'm Henry. To start off, we have MLA Christina Gray. Good morning, Panthers. With us here today, we have Minister of Labor and Democratic Renewal, MLA Christina Gray, to answer a few questions. First off, would you like to tell us why you are here? Well, I'm here because there's two really great opportunities for students here at J. Percy Page, uh, the Youth Ministers Council and the MLA for a Day program. Uh, and I'll start just telling you a little bit about the Youth Council. Uh, Minister David Egan, the Minister of Education, is bringing together 32 students from all across Alberta to advise on the education system. What do you think about how your education has been going? If you could say anything to the education minister, what would you say? It's an opportunity for the students who are interested in really leading to get together, share their thoughts with the department, share their thoughts with the minister, and really get an opportunity to expand your own skill set. You'll get together three times over the course of the year. You'll essentially spend a full weekend in Edmonton with the other 31 students if you are chosen. It's a really great opportunity and I wanted to tell the students here about it. Awesome. Will there be an opportunity for the Minister's Youth Council members to lead work back in their schools? Absolutely. So if you were cho chosen to be on the Minister's Youth Council, you might want to bring what you learn back to your school and share it with your other students. Now, there's no obligation to do that. That's not part of the deal. But if you wanted to, we would support you and there would be department helping you to prepare materials and you'd have lots of great information to share with your fellow students. How might students who are not on MYC share their ideas at a provincial level? Well, if you are interested in this, uh, I'd really encourage you to apply. Um, if you weren't selected, though, uh, another way to feed information in is to talk to your local MLA. So for many of you, that might be me. I'm the MLA from Mel Woods. So feel free to reach out to me if you have ideas about your high school education or the system as a whole or even just topics about the province. And how can students apply? So there's a website uh, on the education website. Uh, I think it's below me. Please go online. Uh, it will probably take you a couple of hours to put together the application. They want to know all about you. For the Minister's Youth Council, they very much want students who uh, come from different backgrounds representing all across Alberta. And I would love to see some students from here in Southeast Edmonton on the Minister's Youth Council. So I hope you will consider applying. Uh, applications end on March, I believe it's 30th. So you've got just a couple of weeks left. And what's MLA for a day? So the other program is run by the Speaker of the Legislative Assembly. And the Speaker brings students in, 87, one from each of the constituencies in the province, to learn about what it's like to be the MLA, what the roles and responsibilities are. You get to do a mock legislature. You spend the weekend with 86 of your colleagues uh, learning more about what it's like to be in the provincial legislature. And does it cost anything? Oh no, it's free. Uh, we will feed you. You will have a great time. Uh, so I would definitely encourage students who are interested in learning more about what it might be like to be a member of the Legislative Assembly to apply. And who can attend? This is for high school students, grade 10, 11, and 12. And how do I apply? Well, there's another website. Uh, and so this one is on the Legislative Assembly website. Uh, fill in an application. Again, we need one student from each area. So we need one student from Mill Woods, one student from Mill Creek, one student from Ellerslie. Uh, so there could be three J. Percy Page High School students uh, attending this. If you're interested and you are not successful, you can always reach out to me as your MLA. I'm happy to talk about what it's like being a member of the Legislative Assembly and work with you to learn more about the whole system. Thank you for coming here, Minister Gray. Thank you for having me. All right, so today's the last day for Krispy Kreme donut pre-orders at lunch in the front hallway. A dozen freshly baked donuts are delivered, um, and they are $12 a box, so you can pay in the office. It's a win-win situation, guys. You're funding graduation. Next, we have weather. Good morning, Panthers. We have your weather for you today. It's going to be a high of zero and a low of minus 11, and it's going to warm out th up throughout the day. It's also going to be cloudy, and don't forget that on Sunday it is daylight savings, so set your clock an hour forward yeah. on Saturday night. <laughs> and for Monday? Uh, Monday's going to be a high of two and a low of minus eight. 
And so, yeah, even though we're losing that hour of sleep, we're, it's going to be a lot warmer, so that's nice. Yeah. That's it for us. Back to the anchors. Sleep is so valuable. Anyways, if you still are not sure about what to do after high school, the King's University booth will be out today, I believe. Yeah, they're going to be here at lunch, and Concordia is going to be here outside student services during page time and lunch, so be sure to check that out. Next, we have sports. Hey guys, what's up? Um, on Monday, I expect to see a bunch of zombies out there because, like, I mean, everyone's going to be tired. It's going to be great. Um, handball, they have uh, practice today at 3.30 if you're interested in that or if you're, like, on the team. So make sure that you uh, go check that out. Um, yoga was a success yesterday, so if you uh, want to keep doing that or if you want to check it out, make sure next Thursday at Flex in the bike room that you go and check it out or page time or whatever you call it. Um, soccer got a silver medal this week, um, so great work to them. Um, we announced it, but no one was like really watching, so yeah, um, great work for them. Um, it's a tough way to end your season, um, but I mean, it's still a silver medal, and they did great, and they lost in a shootout, so you can't really get better than that. Um, sports committee meeting on Monday, so that's next Monday, uh, at lunch, so if you are on that, make sure that you show up for that, for planning and stuff. So yeah, that's it for me. Back to the anchors. All right, now we have rugby. Hey, Colton. What time is it? Yeah, so we're here to talk about our upcoming season. This Monday, flex time, um, we're having our first ever practice for the season. Boys and girls, non-contact, just having fun, passing the ball around. And Tuesday, we have a first workout in the fitness center after school, so make sure you're there. Back to the anchors. All right, so extra appointments for grad photos have been added to school zone for grade 12 students. If you weren't available, able to get a spot, you should be able to find extra time for you now, so go check that out if you didn't get a grad photo spot. And now we have anime club. Morning, Panthers. So I've got a few quick questions for you. <laughs> Do you like anime? Do you like memes? By any chance, do you like anime memes? If so, you really should come out to Anime Club today, which is at lunch in room 2207. Uh, we're watching a real classic today, and if you come and watch right to the end of the episode, I'm very sure you will not be disappointed. Back to the anchors. As long as not, I say, yo, please go watch Anime Club. Don't worry about it. A Nate representative will be here in Student Services Tuesday, March 13th from 11 to 1 p.m. If you have any questions regarding your application to Nate, just ask them during that date. Next up, Ms. Harlech. Good morning, everyone. I have an announcement for the grade 12 students primarily. I'm speaking to you about the outreach program today. I currently have 380 students taking modules. Got that? 380 of you. And I'm working hard to get you wrapped up and finish out the year with all the credits that you need. Grade 12s, it happens every year. Some kids don't have all the credits that they need and they come to me 10 minutes before the end of June trying to get a module for one, two, or three credits. So I'm telling you now, figure out what you need because if you haven't taken calm and you're short one or two credits, you need to come and see me soon. Shortly after spring break, there will be a cutoff and there will be no more modules. So if you come and see me, I will simply give you a form for summer school. All right, so get that stuff done. Take care of what you need now. Thanks. All right, so yeah, if you have any modules you want to complete it, get it done because the year's going by really fast. Now we have talent week. <laughs> hey guys, do you have a cool talent you want to show off to this school? Well, if you can sing or dance or do any other cool things, then sign up for talent week. You can find the sign up sheets outside the office, the leadership room, the drama room, and the cafeteria. The meetups are being held Monday, March 12th, and Tuesday, March 13th, and Talent Week is the week right before spring ba break. We already have some, some cool teachers in lineup for some performances, so you can be a part of the fun. Hope to see you there, and that's from all from us. Back to the anchors. Someone sing Backstreet Boys, please. All right, so wrap applications are available in student services for students who want to get paid, earn hours towards their apprenticeship, and start rewarding a career in the trades this summer. The applications are due Tuesday, March 13th by 3.30 in student services. You can drop them off anytime at the front desk. Please include your application, resume, and cover letter. If you have any questions, you can see Mr. Anderson in student services. Now we have the riddle. Hi, Panthers. The answer for this week was cutlery. 
and it was fairly easy, so a lot of people got it, right? But there was only one winner, Kinza from grade 12. Congratulations. Back to the anchors. All right, and to end off, we have a video. All right, and that's all for us today. Have an amazing day. And back to your Peered One teachers.